Hey everybody, this is Chris with Boost Your Barbecue, and today we're going to do turkey breast the easy way. I have two boneless turkey breasts I got from the local grocery store. We're going to prep them, season them up, throw them on the Z Grill 700 series pellet cooker. So on the first turkey, we're going to go with a more traditional poultry rub. And for that, we have Plowboy's Yardbird. On the second one, we're going to go a little sweeter. We have uh, Heath Ryle's Sweet Barbecue Rub as a base layer. And then we're gonna follow up with a final layer of his honey rub. Uh, the honey really adds a nice color when we're done. The thing I really like about these pellet cookers, uh, especially when you're doing poultry of any kind, is they run so efficiently that the, the flavor profile of the smoke is so light, it really complements the meat instead of overpowering it. Um, we don't really want anything to go crazy and kind of take over from what we actually do to the turkey so it, uh, it fits this application pretty well. I already have the Z grill fired up it's on smoke mode um, so let's get started. So when you get these turkey breasts out of the package uh, usually they'll be in netting like this. I've already removed the netting as you can see you want to take that off if you it's just there to hold the shape during shipping. Uh, if you leave it on as you cook it you know, the bark is gonna crust up around it and when you remove it after the meat is cooked, you're gonna break your bark up, it's gonna stick and you're gonna have these weird crosshatch patterns and it'll just really ruin the look of the, of the turkey. So take that off before, it's not going anywhere. These particular turkey breasts have skin on. I've, uh, I've already taken it off one so you can see. So just go ahead and pull up on that skin and let the knife do the work. You really just wanna take that off without getting any of the meat. started we're going to inject both of these turkey breasts I just have a, a Creole butter injection I got from Walmart uh, it's really good it's relatively inexpensive it's, it's kind of seasonal you can get it this time of the year at almost any grocery store um, I'm gonna inject both of these turkeys the one on the right I'm gonna use a binder uh, the binders role is usually to give the rub the seasoning something to stick to so it stays on the meat uh, I'm gonna use something a little different I'm gonna go with a mayonnaise binder on this turkey uh, might sound a little strange, but I found that with turkey, um, especially if you're doing one with the skin on or a full bird, the mayonnaise, since it's primarily oil-based, really helps brown it up a little bit. Um, obviously, we don't have skin on these ones, but we're going to try the mayonnaise binder. You're not going to be able to taste the mayonnaise, I promise. Uh, just trust me on that. And we're going we're gonna to mark it so we know which one has it and which one doesn't, and we'll see you know, how it helps, if at all. This first turkey breast, Plowboy's Yardbird.
by this targeting comes our mayonnaise binder. First base layer of Heath Brow Sweet. Since this is the turkey with the mayonnaise binder, I'm just going to mark it with this toothpick so we know. So the plan is we're going to put these on the Z-Grill pellet cooker uh, on the smoke setting for the first hour. That, so that runs around 180. Um, the lower the temperature on these pellet cookers, the more likely the meat is to take on some of that smoke flavor. So we're going to run on smoke for an hour. After that, we're going to kick it up to 300 for the duration of the cook. Uh, every hour we'll baste it with some butter and then on the sweet turkey breast we're gonna hit it with a with a pretty easy peach glaze so we have our smoke tube in the back put the turkey breasts in and shape them up because they're gonna cook and the shape that you put them in much like other things so we just want to kind of round them up a little bit Take this opportunity to hit them with any rub that you might have accidentally wiped off. You can see there's some fingerprints there. So I just want to kind of clean that up a little bit. So it's important to know what rub went on what. Okay, so we're gonna leave these on smoke, on um, the smoke setting for about an hour. We'll come check on them. We're gonna take them to 165 degrees total today. And like I said, every hour we're gonna baste it with some butter. All right, we've been on the smoke setting for about an hour. Let's check these out. Time to baste them with a little bit of uh, melted butter. As you can see, I'm not really brushing it on. I'm just kind of dripping it there. I don't want to mess with any of the rub or the bark that's going to be forming. Just a little baste. Smoke tube's doing its thing in the back. Get the coverage on the whole turkey. So now we're gonna close it up and we're gonna jack our temperature up to 300 degrees for the duration of the cook. We'll check on it in about another hour. About another hour in, take a look. Looking pretty good. So the meat stick is telling us that we're getting real close to temp. Gonna open up the feed. 
let's take a look. Still got a little bit to go. So I'm gonna hit him with a little more butter. I'm just going to give it a few more minutes and then we're going to apply our glaze. I have a pretty simple glaze right here. I'm going to warm up the side. It is half a bottle of Suckle Buster's peach barbecue sauce and a quarter cup of apple juice. So I'm just going to warm that up. And uh, we'll give her just uh, another 10 minutes or so. So what we're going to do is the right one, pull our meat stick out, we're going to put our glaze, glaze is all warmed up, we're just going to sort of brush it on the top. A couple of minutes to set. All right, so I think this will probably be our final check. These birds are looking awesome. So if you remember, this was our Plowboy's Yardbird rubbed breast, and this was our Heath Ryle Sweet and Heath Ryle's Honey with that mayonnaise binder. You can see there is a, a difference in color. Uh, I really like the color of both of them, but this one is a little darker. We did put the, uh, the light peach glaze on it, but you could definitely see the difference in color before we did that where we're at temp wise yeah we're we're just a tick over 160 we're done this guy's climbing yeah we're right there so we're gonna pull and let them rest for 10 15 minutes they'll continue to cook a little bit taking them up another couple you know three five degrees and uh then we'll slice them up Turkey breasts are off the pit, they're off the temp, they've been resting about 10 minutes or so. One thing I always do when I'm dealing with hot food off the grill is I, uh, when I'm gloving up, I have cotton gloves underneath and then I put the nitro gloves over top. That way you can basically just grab whatever and not worry about burning yourself. I mean, these chunks of meat are 165 degrees, you know, you're going to feel that even when you're slicing it. So, always recommend the cotton glove underneath nitro glove on top. Uh, that being said, I want to go over what we did on this cook. Uh, we ran the Z Grill 700 for the first hour on the smoke setting. We took the turkey breasts, we injected them both with a Creole butter injection. Uh, Plowboy's Yardbird on this one, a mayonnaise binder and Heath Ryle's Sweet Barbecue Rub as a base layer and his Honey Rub as a secondary layer. We put them on on that smoke setting for the first hour. After that hour, we basted it with some melted butter, turned it up to 300 degrees and let it rise for the duration. 
every hour after that, we hit it with some more basted butter. And at the very end, on this one on the right, we did a peach glaze that is basically just a thinned down version of Suckle Buster's peach barbecue sauce. I put a quarter cup of apple juice in there, mixed it up, heated it up, and just kind of glazed it over. It looks great. Let's slice it up and take a look. Now, when you're slicing these turkey breasts, I mean, you, you'll notice that it's a little thinner on one end than it is in the middle. So you're gonna wanna kinda cut, cut it on the bias, a little slanted. It'll give you a more surface area on the cuts. And then as you move back, you'll kinda straighten your knife out. Um, give you a little more consistency. So just get whatever slicing knife you have. Slice it whatever thickness you prefer. If it's uh, if it's gonna be Thanksgiving, you know, just on your plate, you're probably gonna want a little thicker, but maybe you just wanna make a hot turkey sandwich uh, or something like that, and you're gonna wanna go a little thicker. I'm bumping up on, uh, on this cutting board. great I'm gonna take a little you could also at any time you could reapply some of that glaze you could kind of drizzle it over it so thanks for joining us for this video uh, I really love the way this mayonnaise binder Heath Riles combo peach glaze turkey breast turned out it's it's really good really juicy got a lot of sweetness to it and uh, Blaze just gives it that little extra nudge that uh, just takes it to the next level. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing. You can uh, ring the bell on the bottom. It'll let you know whenever we upload a new video, uh, which we intend to do a little more regularly. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, comments, please shoot them down at the bottom. Hit us up on Instagram or Facebook. We'd love to talk barbecue with anyone who wants to talk barbecue. And uh, let us know how it turns out if you try to replicate this and how we can do it better.